hydrogen tap and what you're looking at here meter on the left is amps meter on the right is voltage I've got uh, I just succeed in blowing out my variac so what I've done now is plug the uh, 110 volts directly across the I plugged the 110 directly across the bridge that we've been working with and what you're looking at here is the focus cell in distilled water. Now there could very well be a little electrolyte in there. I've washed it off as much as I can but of course you can't tell without starting a whole new cell. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you the results here. Plugging it in now. You can see the voltage is 104 volts. We're at around 9.98 96 amps point okay not an amp that's the focus cell that I have on hydrogentap.com the space is 1 8 inch apart there are 11 plates six of them are three of them are positive three are negative the rest are all neutral If you looked in the last experiments, we were getting something without, with true no electrolyte. The last test I did was absolute without electrolyte in distilled water. This is distilled water, no electrolyte. But I'm sure there are some traces in there. I've got a 30 amp fuse in here. What I'm going to do is put some lye in this and try to bring it up without blowing the fuse. The amount of lye I'm using is uh, very, very little. A few grains. If But you can see the amperage going up, right? Eight. We're at to eight amps, but you know what? Look at that. That's impressive. That's very impressive. So what do we got? Say eight amps. At 787 watts, now we're at 10. As you can see, it's heating up. We've got a voltage drop across the cell to 96 volts. We're really putting out the wattage now because it's heating up. Anyway, 
you can see what the voltage in the the higher voltage will do. That's with about 25 grains of lye. So we're at 14 amps 95.4. It's around 1330 watts, way over our limit. But at least you get to see what's happened here, huh? One thing I want to tell you is this is being pulsed. I just blew the fuse. So we went over the fuse in the outlets. got fused it's putting out a lot of hydrogen here you can see what's left the voltage left on the cell itself 1.6 okay what I've just done is take the cell out and I've got my temperature gauge in there and as you can see even with all of that we're only running at 129 degrees Fahrenheit so that is with all that wattage going through there I don't know what you guys are doing that are coming back and giving me this boiling water effect uh, this is with the focus cell now and the focus is set up a little bit differently and I'm assuming it's the plates in this uh, water here now see if there's anything coming out of it the focus cell is made a little bit differently than everyone else is trying to make it or they're telling me they're making a focus cell Aaron cell however you want to look at it but if you don't include the neutral plates it's not a focus and you can see the way I've got it constructed here if you go on my site hydrogentap.com you see some excellent pictures of it. These plates right here are the three positive and these are the three negative plates and you can see the stainless steel that goes in between. This is my cell so it's not exactly the prettiest but you can see how it's constructed. There's 11 plates as I say. Three and three are the master plates positive negatives and the there's a plate every other plate which is the neutral plate this cell's working very good I'm getting ready to put it back into the Honda now with a few changes to the tube itself so that it'll fit in my Honda better and I'll be probably running with two focus cells instead of one. They'll be in series. Got a lot of people excited over the fact that I'm going into the Myers idea. There's still a lot of work to be done on that. It's one thing to say it works, another thing to prove it. So far, I've gotten some results back with the idea, but it's not enough. But I tell you what, the focus cell putting out about one liter a minute is not too shabby for 15 amps at 12 volts. 
If you want to write me at hydrogentap.com, John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com. I'm always glad to talk to you.